Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm excited to be connecting in with you for this special series. We have an amazing book that we have brought powerful experts together to support you on your journey to help you step forward and shine. And we do a special series once to two times a year, just depending on the books that we have going on. And I find when we release these books, they create such a powerful powerful ripple effect out into the world and so I'm so honored to have you tuning into this special series joining us as we start talking about how to step forward and shine in honor of our book it's going to be released I want everyone to mark this on their calendar September 18th so mark it on your calendar September 18th is when we will release the book it'll be available on Amazon And today, we're going to talk with some of the authors and get a behind-the-scenes view of who they are, what they're sharing in the book, what you can look forward to, and they're going to share some great tips on how you can step forward, move forward, and shine powerfully in your life. So you're in for an exciting show, great experts, great energy that we're bringing to you. So welcome, welcome. But I want to set the stage here for our conversation because I believe that if you've tuned in, that means there is something here for you today and I want you to be able to receive everything that is here and ready and being created just for you. So to do that, I'm going to invite you to inwardly and and focus in, tune in, so that we're here mind, body, soul, and spirit. Sometimes we can be there in body, but not always fully present in spirit and inwardly really connecting in and listening. So today, I'm going to encourage you throughout our time together to be present, be open, be willing to receive exactly what is here for you today. Because it is not an accident that you tuned in, that you leaned into the conversation. There is something here around stepping forward, moving forward, and shining that will serve, equip, and empower you. So let's take a moment and breathe that in. Beautiful. Those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Drive carefully, both hands on the steering wheel, um, so that you can be safe, but inwardly tuning in and listening and becoming fully present. Those of you who are able to, I invite you to sit back in your chair, feel it support you, but both feet on the floor, one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth like through a straw, Beautiful. Connecting in. Keep breathing deeply in through your nose. Out of your mouth, like you're breathing through a straw. This kind of deep breathing helps bring you present, lowers your cortisol levels so that you can really receive. It oxygenates every single cell in your body so that you're here clearly, powerfully, and in a very present way. So in this space... I invite you to close your eyes, you're absolutely safe, and feel into what is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you and empower you on your journey? What is it that you need to help you step forward and shine? And when I'm talking about shining, I'm talking about sharing your gifts and your talents with those around you. What is it you need today? Beautiful. Feel into that. Receive that information. And let me add one more layer. So what is it that you need today and are willing to receive? Because we have choice. What is it that you need and are willing to receive? to see if that shifts the information a little bit. 
Wonderful. Come back into the room, fully present, eyes open. Take another breath. And I encourage you to write it down. Write down what was placed on your heart that you need and are willing to receive. I want you to keep it top of mind throughout our conversation today and as you go back forth out into the world. It's so easy to miss things or get distracted because we move on to the next shiny thing or we're uh, moved on to the next thing in our life and we're kind of letting the to-do list run us. But when we can really become present and be aware and be actively looking for what it is that we need, we know what it is, and we're looking for what we need and we're willing to receive, it's incredible what will happen in your life and your needs will be met. So I encourage you to be actively looking, unattached for and how it'll come to you. Actually, maybe leaning in with excitement of being surprised at how that need will be beautifully met and brought to you. So let's breathe that in. Connecting in with each other. Wonderful. So we are stepping into our conversation about our forthcoming book, Step Forward and Shine. And we have four amazing authors with us today that are going to share from their heart about why they leaned into this this project and what they were led to bring forth in it and some amazing tips and advice that they want to share with us today that's really being pulled forth to serve each and every one of you. And I've encouraged you to mark September 18th on your calendar because we've got a really special rate that we're offering when we first release the book. And I don't want anyone to miss it if it will serve you. So for the first 24 to 72 hours when we release the book, we're going to offer it for $1. So I want you to mark that on your calendar. If you feel pull at your heart as we talk about this book so that you're able to get your own amazing copy to support you on your journey. But let's shift back to what is it that we need and are willing to receive. And as we connected heart to heart, I'm going to go around the room and we'll have each of our amazing authors just share when they stopped and paused for a moment what was laid on their heart. So if I could have Mary Knipple, if you would start just, you know, 15 seconds, something that was laid on your heart when we stopped and listened for a moment. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. That that was beautiful to just settle in. And I heard... Grace. Mm. I love that. Grace. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's breathe that in. Grace. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you. Sean, what was laid on your heart? So, for me, what was laid on mine was that determination. Um, Mm -hmm. Never giving up. I love that. Determination, never giving up. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And then Mary Shores, what was laid on your heart? What came and laid on my heart is a sense of deep and tremendous healing. Hmm. Deep and tremendous healing. I love that. Deep and tremendous healing. Very powerful. Beautiful. And then, um, Sarah, I just wanted to see if we we had you there, if there was something on your heart you wanted to share. What was laid on my heart was presence, to stay Mm -hmm. present in the moment and not push into the future or lean into the past, to stay in the gift of the moment. Mm -hmm. And then there was another layer to that, which was a massage. So being present in the moment (laughs) with a massage would be really, really nice. (laughs) I'll take it. I love that. (laughs) <laughs> beautiful thank you for sharing <laughs> it's, it's today this morning when I started my day I had the word nurture really laid on my heart so that really ties in <laughs> to that massage and being Work. present <laughs> love it beautiful beautiful so thank you for sharing and listeners what what was laid on your heart well, I stop for a moment. We can be so busy that we don't always stop and kind of sink in and listen. So I'd love for you to take a moment as we go to our first commercial break 
these two minutes, you'll hear those commercials playing in the background that are brought and sharing things that we feel will be supportive of you. But as those are playing in the background, I want you to really take these two minutes to listen, see what is being laid on your heart and your spirit. And when we come back, we'll look forward to continuing the conversation to support you in stepping forward and shining. We look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Relationship issues? Anxious? Parenting challenges? No more. Learn to live your best life. Tune into Straight Talk with top therapist, relationship, and anxiety expert, Sandra Reich. Learn to transform your challenges into effective solutions. Whether it's relationships, parenting, anxiety, or other traps, Sandra will show you how you can live the life of your dreams. Listen live every Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you become a member yet? Sign up now to become a member of Voice America. It's always free and easy. Plus, you get to take advantage of some great member benefits. Get unlimited access to millions of hours of on-demand content across all of our channels. Keep track of your favorite episodes, shows, and hosts in your own customizable library. Find out what shows you might be interested in based on your favorites. Plus, you get insider access with our newsletter. Membership gives you more. Sign up at voiceamerica.com and click register at the top right. This is Voice America Women. We are leaders in the forward movement of women's success. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes. That you really gave yourself an opportunity to feel in and see what's being laid on your heart when we start the conversation around stepping forward and shining in your life, sharing your gifts, your talents, and your abilities, all that you are with the world. And we have amazing experts. You heard from each of them on a heart level when they stopped and paused and connected in with you of what was laid on their heart. I'm going to more formally introduce them so you'll know a little bit more of their background and invite them to share why they decided to be part of this project, join Step Forward and Shine, why they felt called to unite together and create this amazing book to support all of you on your journey. So the first expert I would love to introduce to you is Sean Sullivan. He has autism, and he calls it the Autism Spectrum Disorder, and he's an advocate for those with disabilities. He is a speaker, um, has a great presence on YouTube, and he is absolutely passionate about people treating people as human beings and never, ever giving up. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Sean Sullivan to the show. Welcome! Thank you so much. Thank you. 
You're welcome, Sean. I'm very honored to have you here today. I always love our conversations and and getting to connect in. And I would love for you to share a little bit of why um, you leaned into being part of this project and the title of your chapter. Absolutely. So the, the, the title of my chapter is It's All About Your Attitude. Mm, yes. Yes. And as for why I decided to participate in this project, I decided to participate in this project because I wanted to first and foremost prove that autism or no autism, I have goals and I will accomplish my goals. Mm. Yes. Yes. I love that. And I, I remember we had a conversation, Sean, and I just love that you have, um, and, and, and in your chapter, I know I don't want to give away too much, <laughs> but you share some of your journey. And yeah. what I appreciate, one of the things that I appreciate about you is every time we've had an interaction and talked, you, you always echo that, never getting it, giving up, always taking a step forward. And lifting others up such positivity um, that I just really appreciate that about you. So we're very honored to have you in this book and in part in this project. And um, we'll get into a little bit more of your chapter um, further on in the conversation. So thank you for being here today. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love having you here. And then um, Mary Shores, she is another amazing co-author that we have in this book. She's an internationally known author, speaker, and entrepreneur and CEO. And she's absolutely passionate about helping you fearlessly create the reality you want. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Mary Shores to the show. Welcome. Hi, Rebecca. It's such a pleasure to be talking to you again. Hi, Mary. I'm so excited to have you back. I always enjoy our connections and our conversations. And I would love for you to share why you decided to be part of this project and the title of your chapter. So there was two main reasons that I wanted Mm -hmm. to be involved. Um, The first is that from the first time I talked to you, I don't know, I just, I really fell for you, Rebecca. I don't know, you're like funk and your energy and all of the projects that you have going on. And I and that kind of piggyback piggybacks to the second reason, which mm-hmm. is that I was just when we got started with this project, my book, Conscious Communication, was just mm-hmm. launching. So at that point, I had no idea that that was going to become a number one bestseller, and I had no idea like where my writing career was going to go. And so it felt like such a great opportunity coming off of having spent two years writing you know, a full book that this was just the perfect like, you know, it was like icing on the cake, you know, because it was one chapter, it was tight, um, it was ran by you, who I was already impressed with, and you you definitely delivered on everything I thought that you would. Mm. Well, thank you. I'm very, uh, that just high compliments. I so appreciate that. Congratulations on all the success of your book. And um, I fell for you too. So <laughs> that's mutual. <laughs> Glad to have you with us. <laughs> and um, thank you. Thank you for sharing and um, really appreciate the contribution that you made to the book. And I know it's going to support a lot of people. So love it. And do you mind sharing the title of your chapter? The title is Three Steps to End Overwhelm. And Beautiful. It's really, it's just all about, you know, because I feel like we're right smack in the middle of a positive psychology movement in our mm-hmm. culture. And yep. I'm all about positive psychology, but it doesn't always give you a way to process your emotions when life gets troublesome or overwhelming. And so this chapter is all about what do you do when you're not when you're not feeling empowered, when you're feeling disempowered, what do you do? Oh, beautiful. Thank you for sharing and how valuable to kind of help us get back to that center, back to that place um, that we want to be where we're not overwhelmed, <laughs> but on purpose. So beautiful. Thank you. Glad to have you here today. 
And then Sarah. Sarah Riley is a functional nutritionist, speaker, radio show host, burnout and recovery specialist who's absolutely passionate about helping you get your energy, your vitality, and your life back so you can be on mission. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Sarah Riley to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you, Rebecca. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. You are so welcome. Excited to have you joining us. And I would love for you to share, you know, in your words, why you leaned into this project, why it called to you and the title of your chapter. Yes, absolutely. Um, Well, first of all, I know that when you work on a project, it's done with such high level integrity. And I just love you dearly. And to be involved in, you know, a project you're working on is exciting. And when you mentioned the name of the book and asked me, well, where have you stepped forward and maybe taken a risk and you made a difference? And um, a circumstance that I had just recently been through in life um, really was illuminated in that question to me from you. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was after SB 649 um, was challenged in, in California in the Senate and the Assembly. And, um, and what I did was to write the first press release to actually put media out about this very issue. So I can talk more about that later, but um, that's it was all timing in that regard to that question you asked me, and I thought, well, this this sounds like it applies to your book, and um, I knew that you would handle it in the subject matter in in a respectable way. Oh, absolutely. Well, Sarah, thank you for being part of this project, and I um, love your chapter, <laughs> and I know it will be very impactful um, on our readers. Do you mind sharing the title? Yes, it's called Your God is Bigger. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So she'll share a little bit more. We have a little bit of a cliffhanger there going with Sarah. (laughs) But I promise (laughs) we'll share a little bit more when we get deeper into our conversation. But I just adore you, Sarah, and I'm very honored to have you on this journey with us. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then Mary Knippel is a best-selling author, a publisher at Authentic Grace Publishing, an inspirational speaker, and writer unleashed who is absolutely passionate about helping you unleash your story. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Mary Knippel to the show. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Here I am running up to the stage. Yay, arms waving. I'm so excited to be (laughs) part of another one of our co-author books. Um, I am so proud to be able to say that I've been part of the entire series of The Shine. Um, My chapter is Unleash Your Possibility. Um, And I decided to be part of this whole series because I share the vision of empowerment with you. And my mission is to support women to unleash their voices and own their stories. Mm, Beautiful. Well, Mary, it's just been such a joy to have you on the whole journey of the Shine series, even before we knew it was going to become a series. (laughs) That's that's right. (laughs) <laughs> like, and you want to play here? I'll play, yes. <laughs> exactly. It has just been such a joy to, to be on the journey with you um, in life and in business and in this um, amazing series. So very honored to have you with us and your passion to really helping people tap into their story and how much it matters, how much is needed in sharing with the world is just truly beautiful. And I love that about you. Thank you, Rebecca. Absolutely. Glad to have you here today. Oh, welcome, welcome all of our amazing authors. Now you've gotten to hear a little bit about each of them, as well as why they leaned into this project and um, what the title of their chapter is. And I wanted to just share a little bit about um, why I leaned into bringing it forward as well and what was on my heart. When we started the series, it was Come Out of Hiding and Shine. And that was something in my journey that had been so important to be able to um, discover how to be seen. I had spent a lot of my life in hiding and it was terrifying to 
and wonderful at the same time to step out and be seen. And so it was really meaningful to me to have that be the first book in the series. But as we brought that book forward, Come Out of Hiding and Shine, and amazing experts helping us discover how to do that, I felt like there was more needed on the journey that was step one (laughs) and I love the number three so I felt into that and created a three-part series so the next book which we released last year is bloom where you're planted and shine because I felt like after we come out of hiding wherever we are we can discover how to bloom grow share and shine and that was actually inspired by that name and that title by this show Because when we launched the show, we started closing every show with wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always choose to bloom and shine. And so that became very meaningful. And then as we continued on our journey, I wanted to really create a book and a platform that would help people take action in their life, really move forward and step forward and shine. And that's what this book is about. And all of the authors, you've heard a little bit from each of them, have leaned into giving practical and profound tips, ideas, and suggestions in their chapters so not only do they authentically share from the heart and share their journey they also give you really powerful tips and tools to support you on your journey so that you are able to step forward and shine and share the gift of who you are with the world So I'm very honored to be leading this project and to be working with these amazing authors as they lean in and share their gifts and share their wisdom and share their experience. So um, please mark on the calendar September 18th. We don't want anyone to miss out that would be served by this book. We're looking to touch as many hands and hearts as possible. Um, As we go to our next commercial break here, I want to invite you to take these two minutes and think about what they have shared, why they have leaned into this particular project. And I want you to think about where are you leaning in to bring forward the things that matter most to you? Where are you stepping forward? And take these two minutes, give yourself the opportunity to feel into that. Where are you stepping forward and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment you're tuned to the voice america women's channel leading the way for your success Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. If you've always wanted to take the lead in your life, but you don't believe you are a leader, then it's time to change that mindset. Leadership expert Linda Patton will help you discover the powerful leader that lives within and teach you the leadership skills that will transform your business and your life. Stepping into your leadership brings reality to your vision, and leadership can be learned. Find out more on Leadership Stars every Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Women's Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog, Press Pass? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus, topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at VAPressPass.com. That's VAPressPass.com. VA Press Pass by Voice America. All access, all the time. Voice America Women. Your passion starts here. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and really got an opportunity to think about what are you leaning into? What are you um, stepping forward in that matters to you? I think it's so important that once in a while we stop, pause, and we reflect on the things that we're doing each day. Are those things? activities, the things we're saying yes to, are those moving forward the things that matter most to us? Sometimes we let other people put things on our plate um, that we just kind of do and say yes to, and we don't always evaluate everything that we're doing, making sure that it is on purpose, that it is moving us forward in the areas that matter most to us. And so I'm going to encourage you to Listen in with that information you received during this last break of what you're leaning into and are you leaning into things that matter to you that you're wanting to say yes to, that you're wanting to move forward with. You heard our authors share why they said yes to this project and how they were leaning in. So it's great to look at that in your own life. And as we continue our conversation with them, they're going to share a little bit about what's in their chapter, what you can look forward to and give you a piece of advice and tips. So these can be great pieces of information to support you on your journey right now real time. So let's let's lean into that. Let's take a breath. Open, ready to receive. Beautiful. And then Mary Knipple, I would love you to start our conversation sharing a little bit of what they can look forward to in your chapter. And I'd love for you to share the title of your chapter. I want everyone to get very familiar with everyone's chapters. <laughs> so please share something they can look forward to in your chapter. Oh. Okay, I'm happy to do that. Um, readers can look forward to being inspired to embrace their wisdom of their stories and their life lessons and to rewrite their stories. And mm-hmm. you will find in my chapter, Unleash Your Possibility, a piece of valuable advice to be able to rewrite your story. That. It's the most incredible tool to be able to connect your heart with your head and literally see your thoughts on the page. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm suggesting is that you start to journal. You don't have to go study with a guru. You don't have to have all kinds of equipment or invest in new anything. At the ends of your fingertips, you pick up a pen and you start writing in a journal. Whether you want to share these words with the world, it's important that you gain the insights and the wisdom of your inner knowing. And that's all going to happen in your journal. Mm, So beautiful. And I'd love for you to share um, this rewrite your story concept. Do you mind just expanding on that a little bit? I believe that if you spend as little as five minutes a day sitting down with your thoughts and putting them down on paper that you can recognize where you've been but also map out a plan for where you want to be. And Mm. that that lets your subconscious talk to you so that you 
really take to heart the message that you were born to deliver to the world and the way you lead your life so that whatever is going on, yes, those are your circumstances, but they don't determine what you're doing next. You can decide. You can choose joy. You can choose to have an attitude that I can do this and Mm -hmm. go about making it happen in the way that's the best way for you. Beautiful. Thank you. I I so appreciate your heart for this, the conviction you have, and the really great advice and suggestions that you're giving to our listeners today. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Mm. Thank you. Absolutely. Sarah, I would love for you to share, again, the title of your chapter so everyone remembers, (laughs) and something they can, I know we had a bit of a cliffhanger this last segment, so I'd love for you to expand a little bit on what they can look forward to in your chapter. Absolutely. So my title is called Your God is Bigger, and what I was speaking to earlier was I wrote the first press release um, in, to raise awareness around Senate Bill SB 649. Senate Bill SB 649 was going to place small cell sites every 500 to 1,000 feet across U.S., excuse me, across California towns and cities in front of people's homes, everyone's homes. And people would not have the right to take these down. And it was going to expose people to 5G that has been untested for human safety. And what we do know about it is that it is not safe for human safety safety at these levels of proximity that they're looking at placing these cell sites. Um, So I could not find any media about this issue, and it was going to Senate floor that week. And so I wrote a press release that was the first press release that went out across the country and went to all of the major newspapers and every health reporter in the United States and got the ball rolling. And then a variety of activists um, got on board and Basically, this was stopped in California. Um, And now, unfortunately, on the heels of that, there are now other bills going on at the national level to roll this out on a national level. Um, And so that's just an update on um, just to kind of close that cliffhanger. Sure. um, So so what people can look forward to in this book is you can just get just uh, an honest, um, just kind of, laying out of how wireless technology, it does impact our health. And it's so intertwined into our daily lives. I don't believe we have to give up technology, but we can just practice. We can be wireless wise and practice safe technology. Um, Yeah. So, and learn how to really protect ourselves in the ever increasing world of wireless um, radiation that's, that's surrounding us right now. No, thank you. And I appreciate the update and, and you sharing this. And one of the things that just really struck me in your chapter is not only are you providing information around this, you also kind of share behind the scenes your heart and your willingness mm-hmm. To uh, there, there's a, a sharing of you kind of prefer to stay below the radar in some ways, and yet this <laughs> became so important to you that you were willing to come out and to lead um, a change and be visible to bring something forward that mattered to you and really embrace that. And I appreciated how you shared about that and your own um, kind of struggle that you came through to be able to step into that place and share it. So. So I I just really appreciated both aspects that you included in your chapter. Thank you. Yeah, it was really, really beautiful, powerful, and inspiring. Thank Thank you, you. Sarah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Sean, I would love for you to share the title of your chapter again, as well as something they can look forward to in it. Definitely. So the title of my chapter is... It's all about your attitude Mm -hmm. and a couple of things that the readers who choose to read my chapter can be excited about is firstly perception. Mm. And what I mean by that is in my experience and in my opinion, 
a lot of people perceive their lives to be very difficult and hard sometimes. But those, at the same time, a lot of people don't take the time to think think about um, their other people's lives and the difficulties that they go through. Mm-hmm. I feel like that a lot of I feel like that a lot of people don't quite understand how they have a lot of the things and how a lot of people take it for granted. Um, a example of what I mean is is that I used to go to a to a boarding school and um, when I went to the, to the school they used to treat me very badly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and and some of what really touched me in your chapter because you do share um pretty authentically and transparently some of your journey and some of those struggles, um, both perceptions that that people can have, um, as well as some of the things that you went through and um, chose to to overcome. And one of the things that just struck me so um, powerfully was your um, spirit to never give up and to um, even to the point of where you rescued yourself and um, got brought awareness where it was needed and you were able to really step forward and shine powerfully and when we talked about that I remember on one of our, our conversations one of our interviews you shared with me sometimes we just have to rescue ourselves. you know not necessarily wait for that um, person to come in and, and find us but lead and um bring awareness where it needs to be and come forward and I just so honor um, your journey so far and all that you've done and you all that you're doing to bring awareness around some of those perceptions that we can have and your willingness to never never ever give up and just wanted to see if there's anything in addition you wanted to to share or add to that yeah. Um, firstly, I wanted to apologize for for the for the noise. Um, uh, oh, and no also, I, I I I another thing that I wanted to share and add is is that there's a lot of things that I have. Updated and added um, in between the times that we last spoke and that, mm-hmm. that, I sp- that we're talking now. Um, mm-hmm. But some of the major things that I... Um, one of the major things that I added recently and have accomplished is is that... I now have a like three or four different online stores on mm-hmm. my website. I I sell products now. Oh, um, wonderful! Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. So that's that's great. So I'm glad to know that you your presence is growing out there, and and you've stepped into a place where you're. Um, bringing different products that you're representing and bringing forward. That's great. Love it. I love that you just continue to step forward and shine and share. Oh, very honored. Thank to you have so much. You. Oh, absolutely. Honored to have you here today. Great. And then Mary Shores, I would love for you to share a little bit of what your what the people can look forward to in your chapter and the title. I think the best thing that people can look forward to in the chapter of Step Forward and Shine by Mary Shores, which is Three Steps to End Overwhelm, is Mm -hmm. a very practical and simple method of what to do 
when the crap really hits the fan in your life. Mm -hmm. So when those things happen, when the bad news comes, when the shocking moments occur, this is a very simple three-step process that will turn you around. And this is not just like advice column stuff. Everything in my research is backed by neuroscience. So I'm going to give you the research. And what makes me really excited is that we know that there are simple things that you can do that are going to elevate the they're going to elevate the dopamine levels, elevate the serotonin levels in your brain, which immediately makes you feel good and helps you stop the procrastination because when you get stressed out, one of the first things that happens is you'll go into this process of procrastination. Mm -hmm. And that's a vicious cycle that leads to you feeling guilty because you didn't really get as much done. But like, for example... um, Matthew Lieberman from UCLA did a study that just by naming your problems, you will create dopamine and serotonin. So just by making a list of the things that are bothering you, it's like a, it's like a brain hack. You know, mm-hmm. everyone's talking mm-hmm. about biohacking. This is like a brain hack or a neuro hack to immediately flip your state of mind. I, I thank you. I, I so appreciate that in your um, chapter because you do. You bring this beautiful mix of really here's what you do, practical, real advice, but it's always backed by research and science and what you have found. Um, so it brings this really beautiful mixture of information that you deliver so lovingly, beautifully, and um, authentically in your chapter and with our readers. I'm really excited about that. And I want all of you to have heard the credibility that she stands on and what she's bringing to you in this section to really help you move through the overwhelm in very practical ways that work with our wiring and how our brain is made. So thank you, Mary. I I appreciate what you've brought forth and you joining us today. My pleasure, Rebecca. (laughs) Absolutely. And listeners, as we get ready to go to our next commercial break here, next two minutes just for you, I want you to think about what our experts have been sharing with you and what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. And perhaps there's this resonance of something that, oh, I can add that into my life. I can move forward in that way, that there is something here that can support you. And when we come back, we're going to go around the room and have each of our experts give you a piece of advice, something that you can take with you as you lean in to step forward and shine. We'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Voice America Women's Channel, a leader in the forward movement of women's success. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. The Voice America Live Events Channel is here now to showcase your corporate, individual, or organization's live event. Visit voiceamerica.com forward slash live events to see all of our past live events and find out more. Whether it's a multi-day conference, special speaker, or single day event, we've got everything to make your event a success. We can do a few hours or a few days. For more information about taking your event to the next level, call Jeff Spinard at 480-294-6417 or email info at voiceamerica.com. Again, that's Jeff Spinard at 480-294-6417 or send us an email to info at voiceamerica.com. Voice America is where you are and where you want to be. Join us around the globe as we broadcast live from some of the most interesting events available. Don't forget to view all our live events, including on-demand access to past events that you may have missed by visiting voiceamerica.com forward slash live events. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes, getting an opportunity to process, breathe, integrate what is being laid on your heart and spirit, things that will support you, walk alongside you as you are looking to step forward and shine. And I hope it's given you a bit of a taste and a flavor of what you will find in this amazing book. For anyone that missed the day of the release, I want you to write this on your calendar. It's September 18th. Circle it. We're going to be releasing it on Amazon at a super special rate of $1 for 24 to 72 hours. So if you're feeling a resonance with our authors and some of what they are are sharing with you, I encourage you to lean into this just powerful book. I've been so moved and inspired and uplifted by all of the amazing chapters, the authors, and the heart that they are bringing everything forward that is being created in this book. I wanted to go around the room one more time and have each of our experts share a piece of advice or a tip, something that you can take with you, something they have learned in their heart and their life and their journey that they want to pass on to you to add to your toolbox or to take with you as you go back out into the world. So I'd love to go around the room here. And Sean, I wanted to start with you. If you had something on your heart, a piece of advice or a tip that you wanted to share. Yeah, absolutely. So the thing that I wanted to share was that always control your life always make sure that no matter how hard your life is to never allow any situation to beat you Mm. I love that no matter what to not let anything beat you down but to be able to, to move forward I love that thank you and that so ties into your determination to never ever give up creates a beautiful bookend (laughs) to what was laid on your heart absolutely thank you so um never let a situation beat you down or keep you down and never ever give up beautiful thank you sean i appreciate it and let's see mary shores how about you i would love to share that every everything you say everything you do every word that you that comes out of your mouth, every action you take, every choice you make in the thinnest sliced moments of life is either creating a deeper connection to what you want or driving a disconnection. Mm. So just really creating great awareness around that. Thank you. That it really matters into creating and bringing forward what matters to us, what we want to bring forward, that great awareness. Thank you. And then, Sarah, how about you? Um, Yes, I would say to listen to the voice that is bubbling up, the truth within you that cannot be kept quiet anymore, and to bring that forth um, and to speak your truth, um, like what I did with the press release. And Mm -hmm. on that note, I would also like to say that to feel empowered and to know that you do have a voice when you're speaking either on the state or the national level. Our government does want to hear from us. They need to know that their constituents care about certain issues, and if they don't hear our voice, they don't know. It's really important that 
if they hear from America. So that's something I just really want people to know about um, in this country is that your voice does matter and you can have your voice heard. Exactly. Thank you. And what an important reminder, because sometimes we can feel small or it doesn't matter. And so I love your passion and your conviction of reminding us that it matters. It matters um, what we share and what we bring forward and to be willing to stand for those things that matter to you. So I want to encourage all of you to remember your voice matters. What what you want to bring forward is Um, needed out there actually people need to hear what is on your heart and I love your reminder to listen to that voice of what is bubbling up within you and being willing to honor that and bring that forward so thank you for for making that stand and stand sharing that space and um, the living example of you doing that thank you Sarah thank you Rebecca and then Mary Knipple what is on your heart what is something that you want to remind our listeners of. Something that I am very passionate about is that your story matters, and no one can tell your story from your perspective except you. And someone is waiting to hear your story. Yes. I love that. Step forward and live your life now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. So if anyone was waiting for permission, (laughs) anyone wondering if it mattered, I hope you hear and know that your message matters. You're absolutely needed and your story matters. Thank you. I so appreciate, Mary, your conviction in that, your willingness to remind us (laughs) to bring it forward, not wait. (laughs) There's an urgency to it. And I could feel that in your heart and your energy. So thank you. (laughs) Love it. The listeners, uh, what is true? Truly on my heart, as you get ready to go back out into the world, that you will take a moment at the end of the show and stop, pause, breathe, and process. Allow what is being spoken into your heart and spirit, that those things that are supportive of you, receive them. And then carry them with you as you go back out into the world. Because it is not a solo journey. We all need each other in this journey. And it really matters that we are willing to share our gifts, our talents, and our abilities with others. So I want to encourage you when you take those two minutes to process, breathe, remember that you are so valuable so needed. There is no one else just like you. And I believe you were brought forth for such a time as this. So I want to encourage you that wherever you go, whatever you do, be willing to bloom where you're planted, to step forward and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.